AMD delivered game-changing news for investors, and of course, they responded. Let's dig into the news right now. Thomas, Chris, welcome back. It's my favorite day of the week when I get to talk to you guys about the stock market. Today, we're talking about advanced micro devices, AMD, and shares are moving higher. AMD stock outpaced the NASDAQ index on Wednesday. So why is this? It's because of a report that Amazon may be using AMD's AI chips, and it appears that Amazon is choosing AMD's chips over NVIDIA's chips. Thomas, is that correct? Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's correct to a degree. Um, Amazon has certainly been reported as being interested in AMD's chips. Um, um, there's a good chance that they'll use them. And even if they don't decide to go with them like completely, they'll probably buy some of them just to try them out. Um, but this new chip is should be a game changer for AMD and for the AI industry right now. It's supposed to be a superior chip with more processing power and more memory. And that's a huge bonus for AI because AI is so data dependent. You know, when you hear them talking about training AI, what they really mean is just showing that program a million pictures that say, this is what a car looks like. This is what a question looks like. All that data has to be stored somewhere. When these chips get bigger and bigger, they'll be able to store more data for better training purposes. They'll have more computing power for making better outcomes. So yeah, this deal is, is certainly a game changer for AMD. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Is AMD on your watch list or maybe have you recently added it to your watch list since you've heard this news? Um, AMD wasn't on my watch list, but um, it, to be honest, the chip sector was kind of something I stopped really following that closely in 2022 and I was late getting back into it. Mm -hmm. um, but specific to AMD, it's a company that I've admired for a long time. Um, the company gets generates solid revenue, solid earnings, and they do it in the areas that that really matter in this sector. You're talking about gaming, you're talking about data centers, and now you're adding AI onto that. Plus, you're talking about a CEO who seems to be very top notch. There's just a lot to like here about the stock. Yeah, I agree with that. So at Market B, you know, we're always following analysts, price targets, and we have some news there to report on, right? Thomas, what's standing out there? With the analysts, well, the analysts are raising their targets. I mean, uh, this news has got them raising their targets to the point that A&D stocks should be moving a lot higher over the next few months. Yeah, it really surprised me um, when I saw just yesterday on the Amazon announcements how many analysts were jumping in and raising the price targets um you know if the if the high price target of about 170 dollars is right that's about a 40 percent ai premium uh to where the stock is now um that that seems a little high but it's also justified i guess based on where uh what other ai stocks have been doing still um, it wouldn't surprise me if there's a little profit taking coming in. And in fact, I was looking at the stock a few minutes before we came on this. And I think that's a little bit of what might be happening because the stock looks like it's down about 3% today. So there might be a little profit taking going on right now, but I think that might just be setting it up to move the next leg higher. What do you think, Thomas? Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, the, the movements have been big. So people that are already in the stock will be taking taking profits that could cap mm -hmm. some gains, at least cost some volatility. But I think the, um, the consensus targets are going to continue to move higher. Um, the, the addressable market is huge. The amount of growth they're looking at is huge. Um, NVIDIA is about 80% of the market share for AI right now. I mean, if AMD can capture just 5% of that market this year, that equals 10% revenue growth by itself. You know, right. the industry is supposed to grow at a 50% CAGR for the next couple of years. I mean, AMD doesn't have to do a lot for this to be a real needle moving event for them. So obviously there's a big catalyst for AMD, but is there anything else that we can expect in the way of catalysts that are going to move it higher the rest of the year? And I know, I don't know, are either of you concerned about this AI hype? I mean, it seems every stock attaches the term AI in its news. <laughs> I read this on Market Beat. Um, all the time. But today specifically, I read that artificial intelligence, it's a global theme right now in the markets. Thomas, are we creating an AI bubble as we speak? And is AMD late to the AI party? 
Well, are we creating a bubble? Probably. Is it the end of the bubble? I doubt it. This market's probably going to be frothy for a while, but it's going to be moving higher for a while. Speaking to AMD being late to the party, hell no. Just what I said before, the market share that they have, the potential market share they could gain, just that is enough to drive this company's growth. If the, um, if the industry actually likes the chips and they perform better and they actually start really taking market share from NVIDIA, this company could double or triple in size. I mean, that that's significant. Mm -hmm. This is a time when... Um... You know, investors really need to look at AI with a long-term lens because I know that there's a little bit of noise going on right now where they're saying companies like AMD may not generate the revenue and earnings that um, analysts expect because cloud service providers may be cutting some of their CapEx expenditures, but that's a short-term that's a speed bump, really. I mean, that's, right. that's not something that's going to happen long-term. And I think, again, if you're looking at this industry in this sector with a wider lens um we're just i agree with thomas we're just at the beginning um and where that end point is we don't know but it's at some point in the distant future right i mean just think about how many chip companies right now are thinking how do we make a gpu that's even better right. than amd's how do we put yep. an extra ten thousand transistors in there how do we get an extra couple of extra you know thousand gigs of memory in there i mean that those things are coming we've we've entered a chip war and this yep. is this is the first this is the first this is the first battle right here the first the first shots have been fired amd says nvidia we're coming to get you and nvidia should watch out <laughs> yeah i don't know is that a threat thomas <laughs> so it's not a threat for me but i think that <laughs> nvidia i mean they're pretty established and they dominate the market they're not going to fall by the wayside mm -hmm. but when their outlook is based on 80 percent market share and now amd could take 5, 10, 15, 20% of that share away from them, that's going to have an impact on NVIDIA's outlook yeah. the same way that it will on AMD's outlook. I think one interesting factor here is also going to be which one of these two companies is going to be the fastest to onshore their chip production into the United States because right now China is a little bit of an overhang over both of these stocks. I think the company that onshores that production into the, into the U.S. is going to really benefit here. Well, Chris, that's why Intel is going to be a good play. Intel, they're yeah. not a great chip manufacturer. Their business, the end business, aren't that awesome. They do have AI exposure, but they're also a foundry. They're expanding their foundry services, and they're building new foundries in America. So I think AI, NVIDIA, and uh, AMD, INTC, they're all going to be tied together for the next few years. Yep. Well, there you go, guys. We talked about the news surrounding AMD, what the analysts are saying. If AMD is too late to the AR AI party. We declared it is not too late. Um, but if there's anything here you want to continue the conversation about, let us know down in the comments. We love hearing from you. Chris and Thomas are always looking for people to challenge their stance. Right, guys? Bring it on. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.